I spent 8 days and over 5 billion diamonds to max out the gift mastery tree to get these perks. Now we are going to do 3 increasingly more expensive tests to determine if this was all worth it or not. Can we make some huge profits or will it all be for nothing and I cry after this recording like usual. The stakes are high but I'm really determined to find out how good this mastery is. I've been preparing for this moment all week and I am finally ready for the truth. So let's get right into it. And we are not messing around here. I have over 20,000 charm stones and over a billion diamonds worth of rainbow chests to test this theory with. Now, originally I did want to do three tests and actually go over the mini chests as well, but I could just not find enough of them to really do an accurate test. So let me know in the comments section if you do want me to do a test with the regular mini chests as well. And if this video gets over 500 likes, I'll do a test with at least 5,000 of these, but I'll try to get as many as I can. And you guys, when I tell you it took me eight days to get this done, I am not kidding. I've been collecting all of the large gift bags, all of the charm stones, everything that can help you with this mastery since the day this mastery came out. And I should probably just go over what you can actually get by upgrading this mastery. So with the gift mastery, this actually only upgrades four different things. And that's going to be the amount of loot that you get from bundles, mini chests, as well as charm stones. Now for the mini chests in the bundles, you actually get a chance to get two times the loot from each of the bundles. Now what I'm unsure of before testing this out is is if the two times loot actually multiplies the amount of diamonds you get as well because i have a feeling if that is true then these rainbow mini chests will actually be super op to open and from the charm stones you actually get better loot in general so at the max rank you get a 20 percent better loot from charm stones edition and at level 90 you actually get access to automatically claiming these free gifts on the left here and you also get an increased free gift timer speed now i really didn't think this through because i actually got this level level 99 mastery on my account that's always in the trading plaza and if you didn't know you actually can't claim your free gifts while in the trading plaza so this is pretty much going to be useless but of course it's not like the free gifts were any good anyways but it's just something i should probably mention for the purposes of this video i'll wait till the end to give you a suggestion on whether or not you really should pursue this mastery but in case you do i'm gonna have on the screen here the chart that i personally made that tells you how much xp you get for each of the little items now everything from bundles small gifts large gifts charm stones even seed bags all give you xp but because you need so much xp for this mastery i also included a column that basically tells you the average cost per xp for this mastery and as you can see the bundles are going to give you the best bang for your buck when trying to get xp for this mastery but the problem with this is that nobody has large quantities of bundles in the trading plaza so it would take you years to get enough xp by just buying bundles now what's going to be your friend when trying to get this mastery are the large gift bags because when you open large gift bags you actually get the small gift bags as well plus a majority of the diamonds you spent right back. And for that reason, the large gift bags were my best friend when leveling up this mastery. But unfortunately, nobody really has large quantities of large gift bags anymore either. So the next best thing that I actually used to level up my mastery a ton are the charm stones. And this is gonna be because they actually do give a lot of XP per charm stone, as well as people do sell them in bulk quantities for a decent price. The only issue is that obviously you don't get any of your diamonds back right away from opening them you have to sell all of the charms you get which could take a while but let's just cut to the chase because i actually just want to find out whether or not this mastery was really worth it or if i just wasted all my time as you guys can see i have no items in my inventory besides these three things no potions no enchants pretty much no diamonds now i'm gonna lock both of these chest items just in case so i don't accidentally open them and I'm going to open all 20,000 of these charm stones in one go and show you guys what I get. As you guys can see, these charm stones are worth 460 million diamonds. And we're hoping that we can finally break even or even make a profit on a charm stone opening in this game. If you guys didn't know, I lost a lot of diamonds in my previous charm stone openings. But thankfully, we have the gift mastery now to help us to finally make a profit. Now, I'm going to open these up and I'll see you guys in a second with the final results
All right, and we're finally done. 20,000 charm stones opened. And in the beautiful way that it is, we actually cannot see what charms we got. So I'm gonna be seeing this at the same time you guys are. I'm just hoping this mastery finally lets us break a profit on opening charm stone. And three, two, one. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but this looks horrible. I don't think this is anywhere near profit. I haven't looked at the actual values of these. I'm going to set up a box really quick and we're going to name this the charm stone test. I can't type. So we're going to name this the charm stone test. All right. So I'm going to fill up this box and see how much these are worth in total. And keep in mind, the overall cost of those charm stones was about 460 million. So we're looking for this blue box to be worth at least 460 million to break profit. And the box is worth 322 million. So we lost 160 million on this opening. Well, this is our fault for opening charm stones once again, but we lost 160 million diamonds, meaning that this is the biggest loss on charm stone openings that we've done so far. But overall, we got 38 royalty charms, 10 overload, 226 of these glittering charms and then the rest of these are pretty much useless i don't know what i expected i thought this mastery would make it so opening these charm stones would finally be profitable because every time we've opened them we've lost so much to be fair though ratio wise i think that was a lot better than our last opening because i think we lost over half of our value from opening last time and this time we only lost about a third i think so overall it's not the worst it definitely is an improvement but let's do the real billion diamond test now because i feel like these rainbow mini chests have a chance to be actually amazing remember the 99 mastery gives us a 25 percent chance to get two times the loot from any mini chest item now what we don't know is if this does apply to the diamonds if this does apply to the amount of diamonds that you can get from each mini chest this could be insane because last time we did a rainbow mini chest opening it actually went pretty well and we got pretty close to the amount of diamonds that we actually spent on the opening so if we're able to multiply those diamonds i think we could make some insane profit by opening these and this could potentially be a diamond printer so first of all i'm gonna unlock these and put them in one of these boxes and as you can see we have absolutely nothing in our inventory no enchants no potions nothing nothing no diamonds practically and we're gonna open up a billion diamonds worth of these rainbow chests and finally see whether or not this mastery was worth it clearly it wasn't worth it for the charm stones but maybe it was worth it for these mini chests i'm going to do the same thing i did with the charm stones and open them all up and then we can go over the results together let's hope this actually pays off i'll see you guys in a second All right, you guys, so we are finally done opening those thousand rainbow mini chests. And as you can see, we have 700 million raw diamonds pretty much just from opening those chests. Now, at first glimpse, I haven't seen anything else in my inventory. All I could see are these items. And from this view, it doesn't look the greatest. But you guys have to remember that we did get a ton of super high level enchantments in the last opening. So we could potentially clutch up with whatever kinds of enchantments we do get and whatever might be below this area. All right, so I'm going to scroll down, see how many keys we got. So we got 710 crystal keys, 168 tech keys, and then 207 secret keys. So now each of these are worth a little over 10 million. So this is about 30 million right here. If we keep scrolling, we got 35 boot slot vouchers. I don't remember getting that many of these last time, but maybe we did. But besides that, we did get the daycare slot vouchers as well as the tech spinny wheel and then the regular world one spinny wheel tickets, as well as all of these charm stones right here. Nothing too crazy. The best we got was the glittering. So that's it from the items. We are lacking pretty significantly on the items overall. Let's move on to the potions now. Obviously, there's not going to be anything too crazy. We got a bunch of tier 10 potions, which actually are worth a decent amount. I did forget how much some of these do sell for. We got 8 million of just these lucky egg 10 potions, so that's not too bad. I'll definitely take that. Over 11 million actually of tier 8 potions, which also isn't too bad. And these tier 8 egg potions are worth a ton. So these potions actually ended up adding up to quite a bit. Definitely something we are going to need if we are going to want to break profit here. Now let's go over to the enchant section. All right, so we 
did get quite a few of the highest tier enchants we have currently, which are the tier nines. So 17 million of these coin nine enchantment books, 8 million of the crit nine, another 8 million of the diamond nine, 49 million <laughs> diamonds worth of lucky egg nine books. That I did not expect. That is actually a lot. I'm actually thinking we might be able to break even on this opening, considering how much all of these enchants actually do add up. And one thing I just noticed as I was scrolling through these was that the ultimates tab actually went up in numbers. I'm pretty sure I didn't have eight new ultimates before this. So let's just check and see if we got anything crazy here. All right, so I guess we got some of these crappy ultimates as well, but I'm not gonna include these because I didn't clear out the ultimates inventory because I don't remember us actually getting any ultimates last time. But besides that, that is everything that we did get from opening these. I'm gonna make another one of these boxes and we're gonna put everything in there and hopefully we have over a billion when all of this stuff is added up. So I'll see you guys in a second with those results. All right, you guys, so I put everything in this purple box. We have nothing else left in our inventory. As you can see, we have 693 million diamonds, which means we are looking for 300 million diamonds in order to break even on this opening. Anything more than that will be profit, so I'm hoping we can at least make profit on this one and hopefully cancel out the losses that we got for the charm stone. Now, I'm not going to delay it any longer. Let's just look and we got... Okay, okay, we actually got 443 million diamonds worth of stuff from those mini chests, meaning that we actually profited, what is that, 143 million from this opening? That's actually insane. That almost negates the loss that we got from the charm stones. I believe we lost 160 million from the charm stones. So overall from this whole video, we're actually down 20 million from the actual opening, but I'm actually genuinely impressed. That is a pretty good profit margin for opening these at level 99. At that rate, we're actually getting a 14% profit from opening these rainbow chests. So that is not bad at all. Now, obviously we would have to go ahead and sell all of this extra stuff, but to be fair, they're all pretty good items that I think would sell generally fast. So that's a big dub in my book. Obviously, we are being covered in all of these items that we did open. Now's the part of the video where I should probably suggest to you guys whether or not you should pursue getting this mastery maxed out. And I think you guys can probably assume I'm going to tell you the answer is going to be a fat no. Now, it did make the losses that I got from opening the charm stones a lot less than it usually is. And it did increase my gains from opening the rainbow chest from before. But like I said earlier, it took me so long to find all of these stuff to rank up this mastery and on top of that i probably wasted more money opening large gifts and charm stones than i actually would ever gain from opening rainbow chest now so is the gifts mastery broken uh, kind of is in just a bad way you know now this video took me so long to make so if you guys could give it a like it would mean the world to me and make me feel like all of this stress was worth it let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this video and the added music it's just something i'm messing with so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next one peace out